Hola amigos, today we're at the Pacific Design Center in Los Angeles. We're with cblatinseed.com and I'm Angela with Queen Bee Latina. Today we're gonna check out air and we're super excited. Let's check out what the buzz is. I found him. Who's that? Jesus? Can't afford it. I'm willing to bet my career on one guy. My name's Sonny Vaccaro. I'm with Nike. Do you typically make it a habit of showing up at people's front doors unannounced? I don't like to take no for an answer. Oh, man. Here we go. Oh, oh. I'm with my wife at Ben's house, actually. Uh, it's actually. Yeah, yeah, I didn't need that invite. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a theater like this in his house. He's doing okay. Ben's doing quite well. Um, and I just saw it with my wife, and we thought it was really good. But it was just the two of us. And then we saw it with an audience at the uh, South by South, uh, South by Southwest Festival uh, a couple of days ago. And it was it was like a rock show. It was just amazing. Yeah, what do you guys remember about the time in '84 when Eric Jordan's came out, and how familiar were you with this story, if at all? I knew about the sneakers, you know, I said, Robbie, oh, but... <laughs> I'm playing, uh, no, I knew about the sneakers, but we, we didn't know about how it actually, that deal got done, and that's what makes this interesting, I think, you know, you can't do the Jordan biopic, but to know about the actual sneaker, that, that in itself is an icon. What's the plan? We build a shoe line around just him. I need the greatest basketball shoe that's ever been made. Who's the player? Michael Jordan. I remember reading not too long ago in The Hollywood Reporter, Viola Davis said that this was such an exceptional experience and she was treated the way that she wanted to be treated on a film set. So I know Viola doesn't say things like that unless she really means it. What made this experience so special to be a part of this group and on this set? was the opposite for us. It was weird. <laughs> we just had to change our cars. Um, uh, it was uh, really easy and comfortable, and you know, Matt and Ben are extremely good at what they do, and they're very nice people, and they understand the process, like you know, falling out of bed. So they're just really comfortable on set, and so they can anticipate when problems are coming, and they can avert those, and so it's just smooth. And uh, it was, and it, we shot here in LA, which is a real rarity. Uh, it was like one of the greatest jobs ever for me. Yeah, likewise. <clears throat> you know, Ben, uh, he, well, I think one of the great attributes of, of any director is giving the crew and the actors uh, wings to fly, and that's what he does. He he trusts the people he casts, he trusts the people, all the all the crew that he puts together, and uh, and, he, and he lets you go. So it's, it's, it's kind of an actor's dream. And then you look around, and you get to see this guy, and this guy, Viola, and Matt, Chris Tucker, and Dan, you, and you're just like, this is a, this is a dream team. Your motor You have our attention. You be alright tonight. You show up at the house. I believe in your son. I believe he's the future. And his story is going to make us want to fly. But a shoe is just a shoe. Until my son steps into it. Got a name for it? Air Jordan. I don't know. Seriously? Well, maybe it'll grow on me. Oh!